Before we can continue, we need to make sure that we have a local web hosting setup complete. And this may differ depending on your situation. You may be using something like MAMP or WAMP or XAMP. I like to use a tool called Valet, which is provided by the Laravel project. And if you're not sure what you want to use, I have an entire course here on CraftQuest called Local Hosting. And if you go there, you can see all the different options that you have for local hosting craft, and you can pick one that works best for you. But go ahead and set that up so that you have craft running locally so we can access it from the browser. Now, in the previous video, I talked about how to install and set up craft from the command line, but I also want to show how you can do that from the web browser as well, because the sort of traditional way of uh, getting craft set up, running the setup wizard, is from the browser. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a .env file, and I can just view it right here, this hidden file. If I looked in the finder on Mac here, it won't show up because it doesn't show hidden files. And you want to make sure that it is populated with your database information. And in here has things like your uh, database connection information, and you also make sure everything in here is populated. The next step is to go to your site. So for me, it's going to be craftycoffee.test and then slash admin. And if it's all working right, you should get this install craft button with this uh, illustration in the background. We can click install craft. We get the license agreement and then we fill out the form. Now we're basically doing the same thing we did before from the command line, but instead of doing it on the command line, we're doing it in the browser. It's a little bit more friendly for those people who don't like to use the command line. It populates the base URL with the URL that you're hitting here. Choose your language, and now it's installing craft. And so this is now adding to the database, the database tables, any default content. And here we are. We are now running craft. And we're running the latest version as of the recording of this video, which is Craft 3.4.2. Now at this point, in order to get going, we wanna make sure that we are going to run a full license. So I click down here on the left on Solo. You remember when I went over licensing? I wanna use the Pro version so I get all of the features of Craft. I'm gonna do Try for Free. And now, if I reload the page, this says pro trial. And as long as I'm running here locally on a local domain, I can use this pro trial for as long as I need to in order to develop the site. If I ever launch this site publicly, then I would definitely need to pay for a license. And again, check the licensing options video for more information about license options in craft.